In order for an organization to understand the digital experience of its employees, it must be able to benchmark performance and stability, then track this over time. Alluvio Eternity Digital Experience Index, DXI, takes this one step further and allows you to compare your own environment against peers in its industry. DXI allows you to automatically identify issues across your organization impacting employees and customers, then prioritizes initiatives that set you on the quickest path to action and improvement. Let's dive in and take a look at DXI in more detail. From here, you can start to see an overall DXI score. And then what you can also see here is that we track this historically over time. The overall DXI score is made up of subcategories. So we've got productivity tools like the Office 365 suites. We've got devices, business applications, collaboration tools like Teams and Zoom. And then we've got any other applications that fall outside of those categories. Importantly with DXI, you will need to configure this initially. I mentioned that you can start to compare your environment to industry. So through the configuration tab, you can choose your appropriate industry. In this example, we've chosen information technology. And then another area here is to actually then set your goals as to where you want to try to compare your benchmark against. You can start with typical. In this example, we've actually selected excellent for all of the various categories. And then it'll just be a case of hitting update. From this now, we can actually start to identify particular hotspots. So we've got a score of 70 over here and it's in amber, so we know that there's room for improvement. And then we can see from the subcategories, for instance, with devices, that this is where our score is being affected. You can actually interact with this wheel. So for instance, I can double click on devices and then I can see more subcategories that make up that overall device score. You can see here that system crashes is at zero and is impacting that quite severely. If I click more, it's going to give more information about all those types of system crashes that have been happening inside of this environment. We can see all the types of different blue screens of death. We can also start to see commonalities between the different device models. So interesting with this one, the ThinkPad T14 Gen 1 seems to be having the majority of these particular blue screen of death issues. So we can start to focus on that particular model first. Within DXI, as you've kind of seen, I can click around and you can start to, to hunt the particular red areas. But we do actually have DXI analytics built into this. So what this is doing is it actually is giving you new initiatives, the areas that you should focus on, which are going to go and move the score the quickest. Uh, in this instance, system crashes are actually at the top. And we can see if we go and fix all those particular blue screen of death issues, we can go and reclaim 24 hours of lost productivity. So DXI is great for tracking this over time. It's great for service providers as well, where you can actually start to understand your score and track that over time. So any new um, fixes and updates that you start to implement inside your customers' environments, you'll be able to track the improvement of that score over time. Using conjunction with DXI is Eternity Experience Insights. So DXI is looking at more longer term trending, I like to use Eternity Experience Insights for more daily tracking. So for IT admins in particular, they should be looking at this particular screen daily. And what it's doing is it's taking a number of those insights that DXI uses, but it will also then start to put those into a category list where we can start to see where there's opportunities to go and uh, gain productivity uh, uh, gain as well. In this particular example, we can see here that we've got uh, the tracking of hanging of Excel. And interestingly, we're actually starting to see a spike of this starting to occur. So if I double click into Microsoft Excel Hang, we get a little bit more information. So we get the, the date time series here. So previously, before sort of October 1st, 2nd, we were tracking quite nicely with, with industry. But then recently, now that is actually starting to go in the wrong direction. We're starting to see more, more particular users impacted by Hang. If I scroll down, I can start to see the top users affected by Hanging of Excel. And we can see here this particular user here is losing quite a lot of lost productivity time per month as a result of that. So if I go and troubleshoot this particular user here, it's going to give me a lot of information about their device. Uh, we can see here that uh, across their top applications that they use that Excel is their number one. And obviously it's a two here out of five. So we can see here that we've got hanging, uh, we've also got high wait time uh, uh, occurring here as well. What I like to use is the build your own feature. <laughs> this takes us down into a, a, another level of detail that we can go into on a particular device. 
I like to use the My Workspace area and then build up my own cards. And so for this instance, I've got hang time and I've got crashes, I've got process uh, disk reads and writes here all within the same screen. And this is really useful because here from application hang, and I can see here indeed that Excel is spiking. So if I focus in on this particular time period, what you can see across all of the cards is this red line. And so when I focus here on this, Excel has been hanging for 150 seconds. You can see here that this time is correlating, for instance, with disk read. And interestingly, the antivirus MSP ENG, which is the uh, Microsoft Defender, seems to be spiking in terms of doing lots of disk reads at exactly the same time that Microsoft is hanging. So in this instance, in this troubleshooting, this has been quite interesting because now I can flag that with the antivirus team. Maybe there's an exception or an exclusion that needs to go in place because Microsoft Excel seems to be having a bit of a fight with the antivirus in that particular example. I hope that gives you a bit of information about the usage of DXI tracking trends over time and also using it, uh, the Eternity Experience Insights for daily observability across your state, which can then help troubleshoot those particular issues.